Okay, Tiger says, my therapist told me, quote, no one is lesser than anyone else. I understand that comment, but in our situation, it's not helpful. Uh, when I said, quote, they are a subspecies and not our equals, she seemed, she seemed shocked by my binary thinking. Um, see, I, I understand, and in normal situations, your therapist's comment would be potentially maybe appropriate. Uh, in our situations where how much the abuse, I mean, that's like saying, that's like saying, uh, you know, the person that, you know, murdered your family is, uh, they're, they're, they're no lesser than anyone else. They're all the same. Seriously. Yeah. Tiger says they are evil period. Yeah. I'm sorry, Tigris. Um, oh no. Uh, finally free says that to Tigris. Let me just post this so you can see what I'm saying. Anyways. Tiger says, I dream of the day I, I lose that good versus evil thing I have yet to reconcile. See what will happen, Tigris, on that? Because I, I, was, I, I was where you were. I was like, she was the devil. You know, and I joke about her being Satan sometimes, but I mean, there was a period of time where I was uh, not laughing when I was saying that. You'll get to the point where you let that binary thinking go because it really does. It isn't. It's good for us in the t at the time because we've been hurt and you're, you don't want to get hurt anymore. Right? So that black and white binary thinking is important because you have to remind yourself that this person would, you know, throw you a boat anchor instead of a life preserver if you fell over overboard. And you have to understand that and remind yourself of it so that you don't look at that person to be somebody they're not. But what will happen after a while, Tigris, is that you will you'll come to terms with that. You'll accept it, right? You'll realize, okay, you know, that's the epitome of evil. But I don't want to focus on that the rest of my life. So then you have that information in the back of your mind. So as you're, as you're meeting new people, you're looking for red flags and you have your healthy boundaries and you make sure that you don't allow toxic people back into your life. That's really, for everyone, that's really critically important or why it's critically important that you work to heal from this, that you put in the time to heal. Because if you don't, the likelihood that you will bring another toxic person into your life is very high. But if you spend the time to, to work on yourself, and it sucks, it's not a lot of fun. It's not, it's not fun opening those dark closets and, and peering into what you probably have experienced throughout your life. However, it's critically important to heal those inner child wounds, to, to deal with those triggers so that you understand your self-worth. You can create healthy boundaries you can have a healthy respect for yourself and not allow anyone else to disrespect you. Because, and, and the fifth thing on this, and I'm just making this list up as I'm going, the fifth thing is, is being in a situation to where you are okay with yourself. That you're okay if there's nobody else in my house. I have my dog, I have my cat, or I have my music, or I have my little, my little candle that hopefully doesn't catch my plant on fire, or my little mister thing. And I have peace in my environment. When you are okay in your own environment, letting someone in there, if they disrupt, disrupt that, you can go, hmm, I'm okay uh, not having someone in my life. So I'm not going to allow a toxic, evil person, a vampire, to steal my positive energy, to steal my peace, for their own nefarious wants and needs, and you can put a boundary up. You can say, no, I'm sorry. This isn't going to work. There's the door. Goodbye. 